As a result, in addition to the 22 UAVs that were shot down, 27 others were neutralized by electronic countermeasures. The remaining drones, after controlled disruptions, exited Ukrainian airspace toward Belarus. This demonstrates Ukraine's sophistication and ability to respond to high-tech threats from Russia, especially as modern warfare increasingly relies on UAVs and remote-controlled technology. Although Ukraine's air defenses managed to shoot down many Russian UAVs, five drone attacks on infrastructure in frontline areas were still recorded. These attacks caused damage to important facilities, including military support structures and nearby residential areas. The extent of damage from these attacks has yet to be fully assessed, but the threat of UAVs remains a major daily challenge for Ukraine. As the conflict between Russia and Ukraine continues to escalate, the Ukrainian government has issued warnings to citizens about spotting and responding to UAVs. Upon seeing suspicious drone-like objects, citizens are advised not to take any independent action. Reporting immediately to the police, emergency services, or local military authorities is the safest measure, enabling the proper authorities to handle and neutralize threats promptly. The war between Russia and Ukraine has reached a stage where modern technology plays a crucial role in battles. UAVs and long-range missiles have become strategic weapons for both sides, and the ability to effectively defend against aerial threats is increasingly critical. Ukraine's success in shooting down 22 Russian UAVs in a large-scale attack demonstrates advancements in the country's technical and tactical air defense capabilities. In recent days, Ukraine has faced a large-scale attack from Russia using missiles and UAVs, drones, at an unprecedented frequency. This assault is part of Russia's comprehensive strategy to weaken Ukraine's defenses and infrastructure, while also instilling fear in the country. However, thanks to the thorough preparation and quick response of Ukraine's air defense forces, a large number of Russian UAVs were shot down, significantly reducing potential damage. According to information from the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, the attack involved various guided missiles and UAVs launched from Russian airspace. KHE-59 missiles, Russia's long-range guided missiles, were launched from the Kursk region, targeting sites within Ukrainian territory. Additionally, Russia deployed 56 drones, including strike UAVs and unidentified UAVs from launch areas such as Kursk, Oral, and Primorsko-Aktarsk in the Russian Federation. Drones, especially strike UAVs, have become one of the most important tools in Russia's modern warfare tactics, as they can carry out precise attacks on targets, damaging infrastructure and military assets without sacrificing personnel. This wave of drone attacks is a continuation of a series of strikes on strategic areas aimed at putting immense pressure on Ukraine's air defense systems. In response to this massive attack, Ukraine's air defense forces organized a well-coordinated counteroffensive involving various units to protect the airspace and key targets. Ukraine's air defense units, including the Air Force, anti-air missile units, electronic warfare units, and mobile fire teams, were mobilized to counter this fierce assault. The combination of these forces played a critical role in detecting and destroying UAVs, ensuring that many civilian and military targets in Ukraine were protected from significant damage. Advanced air defense missile systems and radar helped Ukraine detect and track the UAVs as they approached, while electronic warfare units disrupted the control signals of these UAVs, impeding their ability to strike accurately. Some mobile fire teams, including ground-based air defense units, were also quickly deployed to help neutralize low-flying UAVs, particularly in high-risk areas. Through close coordination between units, Ukraine successfully shot down 22 Russian UAVs in regions including Sumy, Kyiv, Poltava, Chernihiv, Zhitomir, Mykolaiv, Cherkasy, Odessa, and Ternopil. In this attack, Russia not only used strike UAVs, but also deployed unidentified UAVs that might have been intended for reconnaissance or to mislead Ukraine's air defense system. To counter these technologies, Ukraine's electronic warfare forces played a key role in blocking the UAV's control signals, rendering them unable to navigate and attack.